Yeah, okay, a bit of a late start to this game. Welcome to this video. Yeah, right when I had the game popping up, I had the doorbell ringing, got something delivered. So, playing Sheila. What is he doing? Got something delivered as well? You never know. Okay, so let's see. Let's go play the Petrosian. Quite a good uh, impression of the positions that I was getting when I tried this out recently. And uh, curious how I'm faring here. I wonder if he can play no. Huh, knights of five here. So I can do this, right? Thought that would cost too much time, but okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, the knight on a6 can be an offside piece, but this is lots of time. And I've got uh, c5 coming up. And if c5 hits, that's not to be underestimated. He has played a5, which weakens some squares there. So we'll see what happens. But I'm generally quite happy with this position. Go c5. Prepare knight c4. Okay, so he just gives up d6. Or what exactly is going on? So if I take it, what's what happens? D6 is a pretty important pawn. Wow. Wow. So for example, if I take F6, Rook takes, and he allows me to take on C7? Really? Okay. What is the what is the big point now? What is the big point? Probably take with the rook. Like e4 or and then no. I thought like maybe e4 and then bishop g7. That, that could have worked actually. Maybe that, that could have worked. Okay, anyway, if I take now here e4, can also take play knight b6. Oh, what a mess. What a friggin' mess. Okay, well, let's take it. Check. So I have got knight d6 now and then potentially just promote. Okay, if I just move the bishop, does he have anything great? Bishop g7. I can play knight d6 here in this position, but Queen a7 is probably, or queen a5, queen a7. Hmm. 
Hmm. Threatening queen to b8 now. Which he does not react to. Queen b8 and then knight d6 was my thing, my thinking. Queen b8 and knight d6. Isn't that winning? Checking. Okay, let's play it. Check. I wonder what I'm missing here, or maybe I'm not missing something with some miracle defense. My back rank is weak. But, uh, at least f1 is covered. Bishop c8 comes and knight is knight d6. It all comes with tempo, so I would be really amazed if that isn't a win. Check. Check. Black forfeits due to disconnection. Okay. So kind of typical so let's let's have a look there I, I don't 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 quite don't quite get some things here you know this 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 feels very slowish but I was really amazed that he just would would give up after this uh, just give up everything here I mean you you have still have normal moves that you can play and this this just loses right yeah, yeah it just loses Gives up, gives up the most important pawn in the position for for nothing basically. And here, this is Windsor, yeah. But I wonder if I did it right because he had this bishop g7. This, okay, here this here. If I move the bishop, bishop g7, I have rook e1 though. Yeah, this this is extremely important. I did I didn't anticipate this that I have to play this move. So that was lucky. Check. So and here. There's really really no way out, I guess. And Queen B eight seals it. Yeah, he just gave away D six for no particular reason. I mean here you can can still play um, normal moves. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I didn't click on analysis. Yeah, but I basically told you what happened. Thanks for watching.